This is the Thank You Ocean Report. Today's story concerns the San Clemente Dam, located about 18 river miles up the Carmel River from its mouth in Monterey County. It is a classic-looking 106-foot concrete arched dam, but our story is really about how the State Coastal Conservancy, California American Water Company, they're the owners of the dam, and other partners joined together in an innovative effort to remove the dam. It is California's first large dam removal project. But before deciding to remove it, there was a discussion about addressing public safety concerns by stabilizing the dam with additional concrete. The problem with that is the National Marine Fishery Service said, hey, this dam is blocking the passage of steelhead up the river. So the company was kind of in a catch-22. That's where we came in, and after a lot of community meetings and help from various agencies and some technical studies, we said, well, why don't we take the dam down? Sam Shookett is the executive officer of the California State Coastal Conservancy. For any dam removal, what you do with all the sediment that builds up behind the dam is always the big problem, and it's certainly the most expensive issue. So they looked at a variety of options, such as trucking out the sediment and removing it by pipeline. They were all too expensive and had too many impacts. The solution that we finally hit on was We'll move the river and then we'll take the dam down and we'll leave the sediment. And the river will be rerouted around the sitting sediment and then joined with San Clemente Creek. The result, a huge number of public and environmental benefits. First of all, we're going to open up miles and miles of steelhead spawning area. And for steelhead on the central coast, according to the federal government, removing this dam is the single best thing you could do for their recovery. Secondly, when the project is complete, the company is going to donate the land that they own around the dam, and that will connect to publicly owned land downstream of the dam and federally owned land upstream of the Los Padres National Forest. And another benefit, the opportunity to complete a trail along the Carmel River. This fills in a piece that we otherwise, the public wouldn't have access to. It will also resupply sediment to the river. The river now is starved of sediment because it's all blocked behind the dam. And as a result of this removal, sediment will start to move down the river again as it is naturally supposed to do. And there are places downstream where the river has been undercutting the river bank, and this should help with that problem as well. So there's multiple benefits here. This innovative project might also serve as a model for other dams in similar situations. Dams inevitably sediment in, some faster than others. And all throughout the West, we're going to be faced in the next decades with dams that are going to get filled in with sediment, and we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with them. So this is potentially a model for that. Sam says this is one of the most exciting projects in his career at the Coastal Conservancy. It's one of our marquee projects. This is an opportunity to essentially restore an entire river system from top to bottom because there's all kinds of good things that have been going on along the river downstream of the dam and at the mouth of the river, many of which we've been involved in. You take the dam out and suddenly you've got a natural free-flowing river again, and that's just really exciting. It's hoped that the dam deconstruction can begin in the fall of 2013, and it's expected that the project will take about three years to complete. My thanks to Sam Shookett, Executive Officer of the California State Coastal Conservancy. Remember, the ocean takes care of us. Let's return the favor. To learn more, check out our website, thankyouocean.org. And thank you for watching. I'm Jerry Kay.